so it's like half seven on Monday, the 15th of January. I've not vlogged at all today, but we're making ramen. Gammon ramen for dinner. It's 20 to 8 in the morning. I stayed at Jermaine's last night and probably should have driven home. Um, but my internship is not until 10 o'clock. So I thought if I leave at 7, I can get home and have a quick... Bear in mind the journey is about an hour, under an hour. So I thought I'll leave two hours. And I Google checked it and it said, yeah, if you want to be home by nine, leave at seven. <laughs> and it's lit like literally I've been in the car for 40 minutes and have done about seven miles. Uh, bear in mind, I've got a book full of food. I haven't showered or washed my face. There's no way I can go straight to my internship. But it's, it's a volunteering position, so they're very, very flexible. Um, so I don't think you'll mind that much. Like he said, we don't even really need to come in. Like it's very much work from home kind of thing. Um, so if I explain the situation, like he's lovely, so I'm sure he'll be like, yeah, that's totally fine, don't worry about it. As long as I like get a couple of articles to him uh, by today. Look at that, all that, all those red lights. Oh, kill me. In other news, Molly's Game was one of the best films I have seen in a long time. Really, really good. I might do a little like review of it as a separate video actually. Because you know, I'm a film student, that's what I feel my YouTube should be about. I really, really enjoyed it. I've not seen a movie in a long time that's kept me so like engaged the whole way through. And I thought the format of the way that they told the story was very interesting. There's parts where it's even a bit meta because it's based on a true story. They're like discussing the movie rights of her book and blah 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 and it, like that's the movie that you're watching. So stay tuned for the next three hours. I'm going to be clutch crawling, creeping, whatever you want to call it, all the way to London. That is 35 miles. Look at that side of the road. Look at them. Assholes. Boys and girls, we're at the M25. It's 12 minutes past eight. If I can be home in an hour, I can make it. Hi, I'm ready now, but it's like after 10. Uh, but it's fine, because I was ready before 10. And then someone's in the shower for fucking half an hour. So I just phoned him up and was like, look, I can come in for this time, or I can come in tomorrow afternoon. It depends what's easier for you, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, look, just come in tomorrow afternoon. Like, don't worry about it. Write up a few drafts today. We can discuss them tomorrow. So I'm just gonna give my room a quick tidy film, my little update video. Then I'm gonna go to the library. I'm not kidding. I think I might have just broken my nose. Oh my God. I was closing my car door and this is just a prime example of why I want a nose job. It just sticks out so much further than I think it does so I've closed the door on my nose and it's oh my god it's like just stopped bleeding ow D does it look more squint than before because I think it does
so I mean look how red my nose still is this is not okay so for a bit of a nightmare of a day missed my internship but it's fine because we're going in tomorrow but it just means I didn't need to drive back three hours in rush hour traffic this morning I smacked my face with a door I made lunch that tasted disgusting and binned it immediately then I got to the library and the front page that my bank statement which is my proof of address is the bit that has my address on it and I forgot it because it was with all my parking permit stuff I just lifted the rest of the statement so I couldn't get into the reading rooms of the library so I sat in the library cafe but it was still better than nothing but it's quite nice to be like back in the library and working as sad as that is but now I'm walking to Euston and I'm going for dinner at Jermaine's sister's about quarter past midnight. I got the train to train, had dinner at Jermaine's sister's, hung out, had some wine. And now I'm going back to Henlow where I bloody left this morning because I missed the last train that would have got me on the tube. So I'm gonna sign off now. I'm in Jermaine's car, freezing cold, because he's picking some stuff up at his old working train. My battery may die before I make it home tomorrow, so you might not hear from me until then. Good night.